हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट प्लेफेयर साइफर सो फॉर प्लेफेयर साइफर देर आर बेसिकली सेवन टू एट रूल्स एंड आई विल वॉक यू थ्रू दोज रूल्स बिफोर सॉल्विंग एनी एग्जाम्पल सो द फर्स्ट वन इज दैट प्लेफेयर साइफर ओनली वर्क इन फाइव क्रॉस फाइव मैट्रिक्स ओनली और राइट सो द नेक्स्ट इज दैट वी वुड बी गिवन अ की दैट इज लेट एस से monarchy right our key over here is monarchy so you have to put this monarchy in this 5 cross 5 matrix first so m o n a r c h y we have placed monarchy now after placing the given key we have to place the remaining alphabets in our key so starting from a so a is already in it so b c is also in it so d e f g h is in it now the another rule is uh, despite uh, in, uh, number 1 was 5 cross 5 matrix number 2 is whenever you come across word i you always have to share that box with j all right uh, whenever you come across the alphabet i you always have to write it with j you always have to share it with j because there are only 25 boxes available here and the alphabets are 26 so we just keep i and j in one box all right this is another rule now h i j now k l m is already inside n is also inside o is also inside l m n o p q r is inside s t u v w x y is inside and z so we placed all the 25 alphabets over here starting with our given key now let me walk you through the third rule that suppose if you are given key that is balloon instead of monarchy so while placing balloon what you have to do is you have to put in the boxes b a l and in between this two l you have to put x then l then o then o and n whenever you come across two similar words you have to put alphabet x in between now you will ask me that why not between x because guys come on in alphabets we only have one x so for the first time only we have to replace it with x another time it is okay all right so this was rule number 3 now rule number 4 so if you are given any plain text uh, which states that o and r o and r so check o and r where are they so o and r are in the similar row so whenever this kind of situation arises you just have to step to the next value of the alphabet so for r what the next value would be you just have to jump again to here so if you are given to encrypt or you would be writing for o that will be next value is n and for r the next value is you have to jump back to m so encrypting or gives you nm now if you are in a i mean if you are given a word as c and u how would you would be encrypting so first of all find cu where are cu to so c and u are in this column so whenever you are given a uh, values that are in same column again you have to do it in the form of row only you have to go to the next value so for c you would be writing e for u you would be jumping back you would be writing m all right this was rule number 4 this was rule number 5 now last rule that is rule number 6 uh, you are given an alphabet that is hs and you have to encrypt it how you would do so first of all find where is h so h is here 
S is here. There is no relation of them between are in the same row or in the same column. So what you have to do is you just have to check the correspondence. Where does they meet? So for H, which is our first letter, our encryption for H will be B. If you want to check for S, do the same thing with H. So for S and for H, your corresponding value is P. So encryption of S would be equal to P. Are you guys clear? So this was the basic idea about what is Playfair and how to solve the Playfair example. Now let us take a plain text. All right. Let me remove this. Our plain text over here is V R discovered. All right. This is our given plain text. Now what you guys have to do is you have to write it in the pair of two two alphabets. So you would be writing it as W E A R E D I S C O V E R E. Now if you are left over with a single alphabet, you have to write it with X always. Whenever you are left over with a single alphabet, you have to write it with X. But in case if you would be given as discovers, then you have to write DS. But we are only given with discover. So you have to write D and X. All right. Now let us start and solve this example. What will be the ciphertext for it? So for W and E, check where W and E stands. So W is here, E is here. So as I taught you rule number last that check correspondence for W and E. So for W and E correspondence is U for E. So for E and W is G. Okay. So for W E we got U G for A R. A R are in the same row. So I told you that we have to just shift one step. So for A our encryption will be R and for R our encryption will be jump back to M. So for A it is R and for R it is M. For E D, where are E D? E is here, D is here. Again we have to check the correspondence because they are not in same row or not in same column. So for E and D, correspondence is K for E. Now check for D. So move in the row, move in the column. C. So for D it is C. Now I S. Yes. Where is I? Here. Where is S? Here. So in the same column. So you just have to jump down. You have to take the value beneath. So for I encryption will be S. For S encryption will be X. Now CO. So for CO you would be getting where is C? C and O. You would be getting H and M. Right? H M. For VE. V and E. You would be getting F and U. For RE, just a minute for V and E, you would be getting U and F. Sorry, because for U, uh, V it is U, and for F it is uh, E, it is F. All right, I just uh, mistaken it with the uh, step. Now, RE, so where is R? It is here. Where is E? It is here. So for R, you would be getting M. For E, the corresponding value is K. So RE is MK. Now, DX. So here is D, here is X. They are both different. So for D corresponding value for X is B and for X it is Z. So for D it is uh, B and for X it is Z. So this is our cipher text we gain using the Playfair cipher. All right. So this was all about how to get uh, ciphertext using Playfair uh, with any given plain text. Now, if you are given with a ciphertext in sort of this manner, then you have to replace 
all this uh, i mean you have to write again the key value inside itself and whatever steps we followed to convert it into same uh, plain text the similar step you have to follow in the finding of uh, plain text from cipher text let me give you one example for ug only so for ug where is u here and where is g here both are indifferent so for u the corresponding value is w in g and for g the corresponding value is e so if we convert the w into plain text we got v which was originally our plain text only so there is no different method for uh, encryption and decryption we follow similar pattern only so this was all about playfair cipher all right thank you